Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. A lot has changed since my last video. So I am 39 weeks pregnant. If you guys don't already know, follow me on Instagram. Um, and I'm one week away from my due date, so I thought it would be fun to show you what I'm packing in my go bag as a first time mom. Um, and then I can kind of reflect back and be like, oh, this is what I used and this is what I didn't use. I know this is a little bit different content um, versus my makeup videos, but I just thought it would be fun to kind of switch it up. And I took a poll and a lot of you guys said it would be fun. And I also thought it would be entertaining just because as a new mom, I just thought the stuff I was bringing was kind of comical, but obviously I'm being mature about it because <laughs> it's like, you know, it's life. It's what you need to wear to for postpartum after you birth. So I have packed my go bag. There are a few things that I'm gonna do a little different, like this wicker basket. I'm not gonna bring this. Um, I just thought it looked cute with the aesthetic of it all, um, but I'm gonna actually bring my um, my baby's diaper bag for his little go bag as far as what I'm gonna bring for him. To just start out what I'm bringing in my go bag, I am bringing my makeup bag. This is my go-to travel bag. This is from Amazon. It literally fits everything. I brought this to a few like travel events and I could literally fit all the makeup I needed. Um, I'll open it up. So I'm opening it up. You can fit your brushes up here, which is so convenient and nice. They're all clean, thank goodness. <laughs> and then I just have all the little necessities that I'm wanting for um, to do my makeup. I heard that you end up sitting for a while, depend I guess everyone's delivery is different, but um, you can end up sitting there for a while. Or if my water breaks and I'm having contractions, but it's not, frequent and the doctors are wanting me to just kind of hang out at home for a little bit, I can get ready. I can bring this in my go bag so I can just feel like myself when I'm at the hospital and obviously when the time comes, if I don't have time to put makeup on, it is what it is. But um, of course I had to have all the necessities in here. Obviously, like I said, this is my first go of it. This is my first kid. And so I am, I've heard you can take showers there. I don't know what's gonna be going on fully, but I'm bringing my shower stuff and just bringing my shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, which I don't feel like I need to show you guys that, but um, so I'm bringing that. And then I'm also bringing slippers. I've read a lot that just to feel more comfortable in your own room and in your own space, um, just to bring your own slippers, something comfy to walk around in in your room. Um, everything's really sanitized. What else? What else have I packed? Oh, I wish there was water in this water bottle. I'm so thirsty. I have packed my own water bottle. It is a pretty decent size. Um, I'm assuming I'll be using it. I don't know how labor is gonna go, but I assume you get thirsty and hot and all those things, all the above. So I've packed my water bottle. And speaking of getting hot and uncomfortable, I have brought this chargeable um, Brookstone fan. Oh, it actually feels really good right now. Cause I'm really hot and winded. <laughs> so this is the, oh, oh my gosh, there's different levels of it. You know, this would actually be pretty awesome for like setting, like after the setting spray. Oh my gosh, how many levels? So this was the first time I tested that out. So hold on, there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five different speed settings on this. This band's awesome. Um, this would be so cool to just even use after you put your setting spray on and then you're like, what if I do? I'm just gonna set it all with, or dry the setting spray with my fan, but we're not talking about makeup. <laughs> so this will be good to use um, during labor if I'm hot. Um, so I brought this fan and it's chargeable. I'll just have to make sure to um, plug this in today one more time just because I'm like paranoid. I want everything to be charged and ready to go. Speaking of charging the fan, I have got this charger battery pack. Um, thing here and so this way I can charge my camera, my phone, um, that way I don't miss out on anything and don't get all sad if something dies. So if my camera does end up dying, I can charge it, 
for some weird reason if there's no outlet. But there will be outlets, but it's always good to have a backup because this is a once in a lifetime thing. I just don't want to miss out on anything due to, you know, technical error, like if something isn't charged or whatever it may be. So I am bringing this 10 foot cable to make sure that my phone can reach, um, hopefully reach anywhere in the room. So we'll see how that all works out. But again, I have that battery pack just in case. Um, so I have the long 10 foot cable. I'm bringing my AirPods too. I have to make sure that these are charged. Um, I will not probably be listening to music while I am delivering the baby. Um, just because this is my first kid and I don't know how this all is gonna go. Um, so I'll just be listening to the doctor and the nurses and then obviously Connor. I don't want him to be just like shunned out as I'm like rocking out or something. I don't know. I don't know why I'd be rocking out because I'm gonna be like in pain, but <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna charge this bad boy up, get him impact. Um, also bringing my Panasonic video recorder as well. This is actually what I have been recording all of my like baby memories so far. Um, like when I first told Connor that I was pregnant and all that stuff, so I can't wait to show you guys that video once it's all edited and the little guy is here. Um, so I'm packing this video camera and honestly, I actually need to find the charger for this. I was searching around all night, so that's a need. I need to do that. Okay, so now for the intriguing part, um, I have packed Depends diapers, you guys. Depends, like, low-key, low-key dying because I just never imagined myself buying myself diapers. You imagine yourself buying your baby diapers and all that stuff, so. Anyways, we got these bad boys for my recovery. We'll see how long I have to wear this, so. That's that, that's the, that's the scoop on diaper gate. Um, anyways, so Target has this cool set, it's like the Freedom Mom pack, and it comes with, um, this is a healing foam, it's a cooling and pain relief, and it's like this nice set that Target, you can just type Freedom Mom and you can buy the set or you can buy individual things, but I kinda just bought the set. It also came with, um, it also came with like maxi pads, so honestly, you don't have to wear the Depends diaper. I just I have the Depends diapers and the maxi pads, so we'll just kind of see where I'm at down there. TMI, but hopefully, I recover quick. And honestly, at the end of the day, I just hope that. Um, he comes out all healthy and happy and I'm just really excited to see him. But, so yeah, this is the healing foam. And then let me pull this guy out. So it also came with these pad liners and it kinda, it gives you a step-by-step -step on how to use it. So if you guys are packing your go bags and wanna go through how to use all this, it lets you know. And then, I have the upside down bottle from the Freedom Mom. Um, so I'm assuming I can't be using toilet paper anytime soon. I have also packed pajamas while I'm there because I just, I don't know how long I need to be wearing like a hospital gown. I wanted to get out of that and get into something comfortable so I brought um, a big hoodie, some thick socks. I even brought like this long, um, kind of like dress pajama thing as well. So, and it like buttons down. Also packed a belly band. Um, I don't even know if I can put this on after delivery. I've read multiple different like reviews. Some people do, some people don't. So I'm just gonna kind of ask my doctor where we're at. And if I have a C-section, obviously can't put this on. So um, I have packed a belly band just to kind of help me cinch up. So this is what I have packed in my own bag. And then I have also packed for the little guy as well. So I'll bring this bag over here. So I've packed him kind of like what I want to bring him home with, what clothes or whatever. 
um, that I think would be cute. I don't know what his size is going to be, so I've brought in a couple options in here. And then I brought his little vans, and I know they won't fit, but like these are to die for, so stinking cute. Um, so I'll probably put them in little van socks. Um, but yeah, so I have his kind of like first outfits to take him home in and here. Um, I would show you guys them, um, but I kind of want it to be like a surprise. But basically I just have cute little sweatpants and beanies and um, cute socks. And then a couple swaddles. So I'll bring these out. This is cool. It's like a blue tie-dye, um, bluish gray tie-dye swaddle. So I have this as well um, for him to wear. So we'll, I'm excited to see him. I can't wait. Anyway, so this will be the baby's go bag. And like I said earlier, I'm actually having all this in the diaper bag that I got. I just thought it would be cute with the aesthetic to have the wicker basket in this video. So I'll just like swap it back over. Repack this all back up. But hopefully this was helpful. I mean, this is what I'm packing. So I'm excited to see what I use and what I don't use um, and then kind of let you guys know what products I did use and then um, I'm just excited to document it and document the delivery and I just can't wait. I cannot believe that I'm a week away from my delivery date so who knows and I think the latest that we would go is one more week after um, and then I would be induced so we'll the waiting game right now so um, I'm excited and I hope this was fun to watch I know it's not a makeup tutorial and I didn't go through like what makeup I was bringing and all that stuff but um, I can definitely do that on my Instagram stories I can kind of go through what I'm bringing um, I can maybe do that in my Instagram stories so if you guys would like that let me know in the comments and I can totally go through what makeup I'm gonna be bringing for the delivery um, or just for the hospital and once we leave and all that good stuff. Um, if I'm not too drained, but I'm pretty sure I will want to do my makeup just because I love it. So, um, oh my gosh, oh. I'm swelling. Okay, I need to chill for a second. Anyways, you guys, so this is what I'm packing for my delivery. Hopefully I am prepared. Obviously the hospital has everything I need, which I was reassured. So if I forget anything, they will have, um, if I need anything specific that I forgot. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope this video was fun and intriguing for you guys to watch. And hopefully this has been helpful for new moms too. Like I'm a new mom, so hopefully this gives you guys some ideas. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna be using all this, but, um, this is what I packed and thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you guys haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any videos. Um, there's going to be a lot more lifestyle and makeup videos on this YouTube channel um, since of course the little guys are going to be in my life and I'm going to want to film and show you guys everything. Um, the nursery is basically almost done so I can't wait to show you guys that as well. Um, thank you so much for hanging out and if you aren't already following Jay Glam on Instagram, head over and show that page some love as well. Um, thank you guys so much. Love you and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.